this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today I am doing another challenge against I Ballistic Squid, and this is the Egg Challenge. And uh, seeing as I am not an egg, I probably shouldn't be standing on this uh, little egg podium. <laughs> but this is where an egg is going to go. And I know when you think of egg challenge, that might not sound like the most exciting challenge in the world, but it will be. It will, well, maybe not the most exciting in the world. Look, look, look how excited the cow is. The cow couldn't be more excited that we're about to start the egg challenge. Oh no, don't let me stop you, cow. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> you carry on jumping up and down on the cake if you want. All right then, the egg challenge isn't a challenge to try and get chicken eggs. No, 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 no. It is a challenge to try and get the egg of a dragon. Of course, the uh, the ender dragon. Uh, so we have a portal here. And as you can see, it's almost uh, completely filled up with eye of enders. But there is one missing. And so the challenge is, is to, to fill the uh, the missing uh, portal block, uh, just so we can get to the end, and then to, to go and take out the, the dragon, get the egg, and put it on the podium. And uh, that would be very difficult, but I have been nice, and I have given us uh, some uh, some materials uh, to, to get us started with. So uh, we have some, uh, some cooked fish here. Uh, so we don't get hungry. Uh, we've also got a, uh, a bunch of iron as well, uh, so we can make some, I don't know, some iron tools or uh, maybe some iron armor or weapons. Uh, we also got some golden apples. Uh, we've got a stack of arrows, uh, some stone tools, uh, as well as a, a whole load of, uh, of cooked fish as well. So uh, luckily, uh, we are not going to be starting uh, right from the uh, the very beginning. Uh, we've got a, a few things uh, just to, to get us going. And uh, yeah, so uh, the main part of the challenge is, of course, uh, to, to get the uh, the portal lit in the, the first place. Uh, but because there's only one missing, it doesn't really matter uh, who finds the Eye of Ender. It doesn't matter if Squid fixes the uh, the portal, uh, I can still go through it. And it also uh, doesn't matter uh, who actually uh, takes out the, the Ender Dragon. The only thing is, is it's who puts the egg on their portal. Uh, but there are a few rules. We are not allowed to fight each other while we're in the overworld. Like right now, I couldn't run in and attack Squid uh, because that'd be against the rules. Uh, we are only allowed to battle each other while we are in the end. Uh, and I think that's pretty much the uh, the only uh, main rule. So uh, once it becomes uh, night time, uh, we're we're going to sleep, and then that will uh, begin the uh, the challenge. So I guess I should probably start thinking about uh, doing a battle plan. Oh, who oh, actually? As long as I didn't think uh, I mentioned, we do have blaze powder, uh, which means uh, we do not uh, have to to go to the the never in order to to get plow uh, blaze powder to make the the eye of ender. So that uh, is actually a really big point. So I'm going to leave this uh, safely here uh, above my bed so I don't lose it. And we've got a a furnace and a crafting table as well. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, uh, in the, the first day, I'm going to go and try and get some more iron so I can get a full set of iron armor and uh, also possibly some diamonds if I get lucky uh, because uh, I can't really get endermen uh, during the, the day because they won't be spawning. So uh, hopefully I'll spend a day mining uh, to try and get what I need uh, and then after that, I'm going to come back up to the uh, the surface and uh, try and get a, an enderman uh, to get an eye of ender. And also, I really uh, want to be able to, to make a bow because I've got a whole stack of arrows here, uh, but no bow. And I'm actually going to I'm going to store the uh, the arrows in here as well because I don't want to, to lose them. Uh, so, yeah, I've got no uh, bow, but lots of arrows. And so unless I'm really good at throwing the arrows really hard, <laughs> it's going to be very important uh, for for me to, to get a bow. So let's start off uh, by making some things. I know I want to make a diamond sword. But actually, I don't have any wood. Well, first things first, let's just go and uh, uh, do the simple Minecraft task of cutting down some trees, shall we? And uh, there's plenty of uh, trees over here. Uh, so let's go see if we can go and uh, cut uh, a few of these down, uh, get a bit of wood, and then I can go and make myself uh, a diamond sword and some some other things. Actually, there's no real point going back to the house, to be honest, because I can make a, a crafting table where I am anyway. Uh, so I'm just going to go and uh, try and find uh, a good cave uh, to go and get myself uh, a lot of iron. Uh, but I want to make sure that I'm getting back up to the, the surface uh, as soon as it's night time. Uh, so I've got a good chance to try and get uh, as many uh, spiders and endermen uh, as I can uh, before Squid does. Because if he's really quick and gets ones very fast, he could actually go to the end and get the egg before I go in there. It'd be good to uh, make sure that we're at least in the end at the same time. Uh, if not, uh, I'm in the uh, the end uh, before Squid Nuggets. So let's just go and get a bunch of wood just because I'm going to need this uh, for uh, a few things uh, in, uh, in this uh, challenge. So there should be uh, a 
enough now. I can uh, make some more torches. Actually, I got torches, don't I? Oh, no, we don't have torches. Uh, for once, I haven't actually given us any torches, which means uh, when we go mining, uh, we're going to have to, to be dealing with uh, with that ourselves. I do, though, have a nice, big, tasty, juicy apple. <laughs> right then, let's go for a wander and try and find... Uh, ooh... Hmm, this seems, uh, this seems promising. It seems to be a, a nice little cave down here. Let's go and, uh, yeah, let's go and head down this cave. But before we do, I might as well go and get myself, uh, geared up, uh, with everything I have. So I definitely, uh, want to make a diamond sword. Uh, so let's go and make the, uh, the diamond sword first. And then I got four diamonds left. So I think I can make boots. Um, yeah, I can make diamond boots, uh, but nothing else. So sorry, no stampy style boots today. I'm gonna do what I need to do and get some diamond boots. And then let's make the, uh, the rest uh, into iron armor. At least, uh, as much as I can. Let's do a chest plate and uh, I can do a chest plate and a hat. So I only need a little bit more iron actually in order to, to make the uh, the leggings. And then that's probably uh, going to be as much uh, iron as I need. Uh, but then the uh, the only other thing that I'd really like uh, is to uh, to also have uh, yeah some more diamonds uh, to make some diamond armor because uh, we are going to be able to to battle each other while we're in the end. The real challenge isn't really going to be uh, battling the uh, the dragon. I mean the dragon can be hard enough by itself, but the real problem is going to be Squid Nugget, who's going to be <laughs> going after me uh, while I'm in the the end as well. Uh, so yeah, he's going to be the uh, the big worry. So I want to make sure. Uh, that I hopefully uh, have uh, better materials on me uh, than he does. And uh, also, uh, the uh, the bow and arrow uh, would be very handy there. In fact, in fact it's pretty much uh, impossible to, to kill the Ender Dragon uh, without a, a bow and arrow. Well, I know you can. Don't all go and point out that you can or that you did. <laughs> I know it is possible, uh, but it's difficult. It's tough to kill an animal which spends most of its time flying uh, when you only have, you know, weapons that you can hurt it uh, when it's right in front of you. Uh, right, so that actually wasn't a, a very good cave at all. Uh, so let's go for another little bit of a a wonder and uh, see if we can find uh, another one uh, over here somewhere. I mean, if I get desperate, I can just dig down, uh, but that generally takes uh, a lot longer uh, than finding uh, a good cave uh, just to, to go down a little bit deeper. So, oh, there seems to be a horse in a tree over there. Why not? Right, this actually seems like a cave. Is this a, a proper cave? Does this go deep? I can see a bit of iron. Oh, careful. There we go. This uh, looks like a, a nice proper cave. Actually, there's a bit of a, a iron right here on the, the surface. So I might as well grab this just because uh, it seems to be quite safe here. And uh, yeah, then the only other thing uh, I want is diamonds. So I can't spend too long uh, looking for the uh, the diamonds. Uh, but uh, yeah, if I can get them, that would be a huge advantage. I always like the idea of spending a lot of time early on getting a bit over prepared. And then hopefully it's going to pay off later on. I'm not the speediest <laughs> at these challenge uh, at these uh, challenges. I kind of like to, to go slow and steady and uh, hopefully set myself up uh, for a, a gradual victory. Uh, rather than just charging straight in the end and trying to win, uh, but not having uh, as good stuff as the, the other person. So uh, actually, I probably got uh, enough iron uh, in order to, to make everything that I uh, that I need now. Uh, so the only other thing is literally the, the diamond. So let's go down these caves, and uh, if it does go deep, uh, then brilliant. Uh, hopefully I can find some diamonds. Uh, then if not, it uh, doesn't matter. I'll go back to the, the surface and I can start preparing. Uh, but there is also a good chance uh, that I could actually find an enderman or a, a spider uh, down in the, the mine as well. I think there's definitely a much better chance I'm going to find it down here uh, rather than uh, worrying about running around on the, the surface. So so it'd be a good idea uh, to, to keep an eye out anyway. So there's a tiny bit more iron here, but I really uh, don't need uh, to worry about iron too much anyway. I might as well uh, just go and run past it all. I know I don't <laughs> uh, normally like running past iron. It feels like a bit of a waste, but I don't really need much more. As I said, uh, the only other thing I need is leggings. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, this cave does go deeper. I was hoping it was going to go a little bit further down in that direction. So let's go and have a look in uh, another direction. And if not, I might go and start digging down. I seem to generally get quite lucky uh, at finding diamonds in these challenges. Uh, in the past, I've always seemed to uh, to be able to, to find all of the uh, the rare items a little bit better than Squid Nugget has. So I'm uh, hoping, fingers crossed, uh, that that luck is going to, to continue and I'll be able to, to find some diamonds quickly, head back to the surface, get the uh, uh, the uh, ender eye, and then go straight to the uh, the end. That's what the uh, the plan is. Uh, we're going to see how this uh, this pans out, <laughs> uh, but that's what the uh, the goal is uh, at least. And I'm also uh, going to, to need to make uh, at least uh, an iron pickaxe uh, to, to mine the diamonds if I find some. Uh, but yeah, we'll worry about that uh, if I if I get to it. Um Hmm, I don't seem to be getting very lucky uh, in the, this direction though. Right, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in the, the direction I went to earlier and I'm just going to start digging down. I'll make uh, an iron pickaxe and uh, then I'm just going to keep digging down and uh, see if I can hopefully find some because uh, the good thing about just digging uh, down or at least uh, staircasing down is that it's easy to find your way back out. 
When you're going down these random caves, it's very easy just to keep going too far and then getting lost and then not being able to, to find your, your way back. If you do uh, dig a little staircase, and then I'll be able to, to get back up to the, uh, the surface very quickly, uh, which is very important to me. So let's go and uh, start smelting some of this iron in here. And uh, I can go and put some of my coal in. And uh, let's go and start digging down. I might as well uh, start digging down here. Uh, I'll use my stone pickaxe for now uh, while that's iron smelting. And then I go back up and try and grab that. And uh, yeah, hopefully... I'm going to dig into another cave or hopefully just find some diamonds. Uh, but if not, uh, no worries. I go back up to the, the surface and uh, then I'm going to go on the, the hunt uh, for all of the uh, the endermen uh, and then the uh, the spiders uh, as well. So this is uh, generally a pretty safe way of doing things. The only reason I don't really mine like this more often is just because it's not as fun as just exploring caves. But luckily, I don't need to worry about that because I did dig uh, my way straight uh, into, uh, into another cave here. So let's just light up the area a bit. Oh, I found some gold. That's slightly rare. Uh, I don't know if we're deep enough to uh, to find any diamonds yet, uh, but it doesn't matter. At least uh, I found my way into another cave, uh, so I've got somewhere else to, to explore, and it's always uh, much easier to find diamonds like this, uh, just because you can see more, because uh, a lot of the time, if you're just tunneling randomly, there might be diamonds right next to you, but you just can't see them. <laughs> and so at least this way, uh, if there are diamonds, I, I will be able to, to see them. So let's go uh, back up here, and let's go and grab my iron, and uh, so I can make myself my iron pickaxe. And uh, yeah, then we can go and uh, carry on uh, heading down the this cave so I can also uh, make my iron leggings as well so let's go and uh, make these and I've now got myself my full set of iron armor and my diamond sword so uh, yeah once I got the uh, the bow I'm actually going to be feeling uh, pretty good about this uh, I do want to get a little bit more of this uh, this iron uh, just so I can make my pickaxe now uh, just so I got that ready uh, so I'll be able to, to mine everything quicker and uh, get the the diamonds as well so let's just go and uh, grab this up I might as well take my uh, crafting table along with the uh, the journey as well so I don't uh, end up leaving this here and uh, let's go back down to this cave then there was some lava uh, there's normally a good chance of getting diamonds around lava uh, kind of the the areas that they spawn in are, are often quite similar so I guess this is kind of good I mean it's dangerous but <laughs> I guess it's kind of a good sign so let's try and there very carefully go and make my way uh, over this lava and uh, let's keep heading down this way hopefully uh, it keeps going down deeper and I went a little bit deeper, I guess. How, how deep am I? Let's go and uh, have a little quick check on the, the map. Oh, I'm on level 14. This is good, actually. I think I'm at a, just about uh, coming up to a, a good level uh, to, to find myself lots of diamonds. So I guess I can just keep digging down a little bit. And, uh, and forward and uh, hopefully either dig into uh, another cave or just straight into some diamonds. Actually though, uh, looking at the time I don't know whether I should give up uh, on my quest of diamonds. It's starting to get to the point uh, where it's going to, to be coming day on the, the surface. So I give myself one more minute. I give myself exactly uh, one more minute uh, to, to keep digging and if I don't find any diamonds uh, then let's forget it I go back up to the, the surface. I'm actually not too worried uh, about getting the, um, uh, the, the end Ender pearls, just because Squid is going to be doing the the same. So if he has to do the the Ender pearl while I'm still preparing, uh, that actually doesn't really matter because one of us needs to put it in anyway. And there's no advantage uh, to it being me uh, rather than to it being Squid. So I could kind of let him worry about that uh, while I keep worrying uh, about trying to, to prepare. The only thing I really do want uh, is a bow. It would be really bad uh, if Squid has a has a bow, uh, but I don't. Uh, because then that way uh, he was going to be able to, to shoot at me and uh, take me out at range and I'm not going to be able to, to do the, the same to him. I have a, a whole stack of uh, arrows and they'll be going completely to, to waste. So that is going to be uh, the, the big problem here. But sadly I don't seem to, to be getting lucky. It seems like my uh, my quest luck has uh, has finally run out. <laughs> uh, I guess that was a, a little bit ambitious to hope to dig straight down and uh, find some diamonds immediately. So um, yep, I think this has been uh, just uh, about a minute now. I'm kind of dragging it out just a little bit more in case I I get lucky. Five, four, three, two, one, and nope, absolutely nothing, just stone. Right, forget it, forget it, forget it. Let's go back to the, the surface then, and at least while it's night time, uh, let's go and try and uh, track down some some spiders and uh, see if, uh, if I'm able to, to make myself my uh, my bow then. So uh, luckily it shouldn't uh, be too difficult uh, to, to find my way out of this cave. And Oh, that's where the, the lava was. I kind of got scared <laughs> just because I remembered the, the lava. Actually, I might have a very quick check because I didn't actually look down this part of the cave, did I? And there is more lava. Right, I know I said I was going to leave, but this is just far too tempting uh, for, for me to not come down and uh, have a little bit of a, a look. It would be such a huge advantage. If I found just uh, another six diamonds or so, it would be such a massive advantage over squid. But nope, it does look like it is not going to, to be happening today. So what I need to do now is try and find my way out of this cave, which uh, might be easier said than done. Right. 
Where did I come in from? Is it from... Right, there's the goal there. It's up here, isn't it? There we go. I found my, my way out already. And so I can go and go up this uh, staircase and go back to the, the surface. And uh, well, the first thing I want to do is uh, check the uh, the portal and uh, make sure that it's not done already. Because if it is, that means Squid's probably inside. And if he's got the, the egg this quick, that is going to spell trouble for me. I doubt he would have been able to. It would be a ridiculously fast amount of time uh, in order to be able to do it. But Squid's pretty good at this game, you might have noticed. He, uh, he plays Minecraft quite a lot, so <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. So let's go now as fast as I can back up and uh, try and find my way back out of here and uh, back to the uh, back to the, the houses. Uh, and uh, here we go. I was actually not uh, as deep as I thought. Well, I knew I was deep, but it was actually uh, not too difficult uh, to get back up to the uh, the surface. So first thing I want to do, as I mentioned, is to go back to the houses. And this was actually a uh, perfect timing because, as you can see, uh, the moon is uh, just about rising. And I looked at the map to try and remember where the houses was, but I realized I never looked at the, the map earlier, so it's not actually helping me too much. I think it was in this direction, though. Uh, we haven't actually built a, a beacon this time, uh, so normally we could see it over the, the horizon. So I might uh, just have to have a, a little bit of a, a wander uh, until I run back into the, the house. But that's okay, because uh, I kind of want to, to wander the, uh, the landscape anyway, uh, looking for spiders and endermen. At the moment, I'm finding chickens and pigs. That's not very helpful. <laughs> Spiders and Enderman is uh, is what I'm after. And here's the here's the portal here. It's kind of scary. I can't see from here uh, whether it's uh, it's been filled in or not. Oh, I don't think it has. And no, there we go. Squid Nugget has not been able to to fill in the the portal yet. That's good. And that's good. At least he's not in there already. We are probably in uh, in the uh, the same boat right now in the, a pretty similar situation. So uh, what I want to do now is uh, yeah go after the uh, the spiders. I think is the the priority. Uh, even though I need uh, the uh, the ender pearl, I probably don't want to, to head in until I've got it. And uh, look who um look who I've just spotted. <laughs> I told you he'd be in the same boat as me. Oh look, there's a spider. Oh no, I want to get it. I I want the string. I want the string. Did I get it? I think I stole it. Did I steal it? Oh no, he got it. Oh, there's a creeper as well. <laughs> I let Squid deal with the, the creeper. I tried to steal a uh, squid string. I think he is trying to do uh, the exact same as I am. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of this little ravine. Bye, Squid. It was nice running into you. Get, get off my block. Leave me alone. I can't... I'm trying to get out of here. Leave me alone. Stop holding your fish. <laughs> oh, the creeper's going right for him. Look at that. <laughs> he, he got blast out of the other uh, way there. Anyway. All right, on with the, the topic. That would have been so good there if I was able uh, just to, to steal that string. I think there was a couple pieces as well. I think he got a, a few pieces. Right, I have, though, uh, spotted a uh, an Enderman. So uh, I actually damaged the Enderman with the, the Creeper there. was quite a, a good idea. All right, let's see if I can go and take out this Enderman and get an Ender Pearl. Looks like Squid shown up again. I don't know if he's uh, trying to steal my kill, uh, but I did uh, just spot a whole load of uh, spiders uh, over on the, the hill over here. And as I said, uh, they're kind of the, uh, the prime priority for now. I want to make sure that the Enderman doesn't kill me, but look at this. Three spiders all turned together. This is exactly uh, what I needed, and this one uh, dropped some string. There we go. I think that was uh, enough string, uh, so I've actually got uh, enough uh, to, to make my bow, and I just fell down a hole as well. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, let's go and make the uh, the bow first then, because uh, that's going to be very important. Uh, there seems to be more skeletons going after me, but arrows uh, is not the uh, the problem. It was only getting the, the bow. I don't know where the Enderman went as well. I don't know if Squid Nugget took it out and uh, whether he got the, the Eye of End, right? I definitely uh, want to keep a, a close eye on him uh, just in case he puts it down and I haven't realized for all I know uh, he already has an ender pearl uh, but hasn't uh, hasn't shown it to me so I want to be very careful and oh actually before I go and make the the bow I did spot a, uh, another enderman uh, on the uh, the hill over here so let's go and uh, see if I can have uh, another chance uh, of getting the uh, the ender pearl so um, apparently the trick is uh, to look at them in their feet and then they don't teleport away as much. Uh, apparently if I look like this, uh, there we go, you can see it's not teleporting away. And I got myself an ender pearl. Right, everything's in place. Everything's in order. I got the bow I wanted, I got my armor, my sword, and I have the ender pearl ready to make myself an eye of ender. Everything is in order uh, for me to, to be able to go in the portal and to get that egg. And Squid Nugget is still not around, so I'm going to be very quickly and uh, try and do everything uh, that I need to do. But sadly, uh, we have this... Has Squid been using my furnace, or did I do that? And no, I think I did that, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, sadly, this is the uh, the end of the uh, the first episode here. But don't worry, uh, there'll be a link in the, the description to episode number two uh, of the, the egg challenge, uh, where you can see me uh, going down to the... Um uh, going into the the end and uh, battling the the ender dragon uh, itself. So uh, I want to thank you all very much for uh, watching part one, and I will see you all later. Bye!